Hello and welcome, this is Polarian. Welcome to another Fallout 4 gun show. Today we have a few to go through. Not a huge amount, but some, some interesting ones. So let's go ahead and take a look here today. So the first one we're going to look at is the N99 Custom 10mm Pistol by Cypher. This bar mod brings a completely new 10mm pistol to the Fallout 4 Wasteland. It is a smaller, more ergonomic 10mm pistol compared to the base Fallout 4 pistol. It contains modifications that turn it into a weapon that looks quite similar to the 10mm pistols of old. Um, yeah, so just basically base damage, same as the 10mm. Contains a few custom ammunition. Can be found in Vault 111 and also is level as injected. And yeah, not too much about it. It looks good, I think. I think it looks really nice and sharp. Uh, Cypher does good stuff. But yeah, um, what is Vault 111? You will actually find it sitting on the table. After you get out of the cryo vault, you go to the end of the walkway and you turn right. You go down the stairs and you go in that little room that has like the filing cabinets and the desk and all that stuff. It's sitting on the desk there. So that's where you'll find it. Um, I'm also using the mod in here, which I will link, though it's not really going to be showable but it's linkable so i'll link it that also makes you can replace the 10 millimeter with the n99 so if you wish to use this to replace the 10 millimeter then you can do that or you can just have it on its own on the side so yeah so it's pretty cool i like it so let's take a look real quick so you got an automatic receiver you got a standard receiver a hardened receiver a powerful receiver a hardened automatic receiver a powerful automatic receiver and an advanced receiver so some good stuff barrels we have a compact barrel a compact barrel with laser a custom barrel so custom barrels makes it a little different down here a little bit sticking out there got the military barrel adds more length down here military barrel with laser so that's starting to look more like some of the old 10 millimeters and stuff that one and that one you got the standard barrel which is this one and the standard barrel with laser so grips you got a military grip a sharpshooter's grip and the standard grip so looking good magazines you have large magazine large magazine quick eject medium magazine just sticks out a little bit military magazine a quick eject magazine and your standard magazine for scopes you have standard sight glow sight and a reflex sight and for some reason there's two scopes showing up i don't know if that's something with the replacer or just a bug with a mod but yeah so muzzles you have no muzzle you have a compensator covert suppressor a muzzle brake which the muzzle brake looks the same as the compensator and then a standard suppressor so you got a standard suppressor and a covert i want the covert more like a heavy suppressor ammunition um uses your standard 10 millimeter and then also gives you an armor piercing round option which adds an extra 11 damage and then a jacket hollow point for extra 15 and no this does not require munitions this is just extra options with the gun then for material basically a standard paint or winterized winterized base is just a little bit more of a steel look not as light but yeah other than that not bad it's pretty simple um nice looking little pistol so that's cool the next one we have i'm going to show you this and i'll save all right so this one is called unga bunga watongi pogo um I'm not sure. I think this might have been April Fool's joke, but it's still kind of interesting. The mod page is Unga Bunga Wotangi Pogo Torogi Kalon Dobo Tuo Pondo. And then it has a bunch of like cave drawings of like bone, stone, a stick, animal, hide, that fire, a different thing. So I think it's supposed to be an April Fool's joke, but it's still interesting weapons. So I figured I'd show it off. 
But yeah, so this one is basically like some Stone Age type weapons. This one is the only one showing up in here. I'll show the others afterwards. So you have a stone axe, you can do a pick head, a hammer head, a spear head, and an axe head. It's pretty cool. Poison, you have no poison. You can have natural poison. And then chemical poison. It's like a darker, so. And then for shaft, you have bone or wood. So pretty simple. They're medium type weapons. Could always use the um, lore excuse that maybe they somehow got free from the, I don't know, maybe you could say they got free from the a museum that had some Stone Age tools and maybe they ended up getting scattered on the combo because people are looking for weapons to use. I don't know. Yeah, we'll shoot into the sun and there you can see that. So you have your stone axe. So basically pretty, pretty simple there. Looks good. Textures look nice. You have a stone knife, which for some reason is not showing up in there, so I wonder if it's just not craft craftable, but it looks nice. I mean, yeah, basically like a bone with a knife, so it looks good. Kind of like that. And then you have a throwing knife, which is basically the same, but throwing. So with that one, you just click it like a grenade and... Oh, okay, yeah, you hold in the alt like a grenade. It, may, it still makes the pin sound, the pulling pin sound like a grenade, but it throws it. That's not bad. I wonder what the range is on it. Hey, it's not bad range. You can't collect it once you've thrown it, but that's pretty cool. Alright, so if you want some throwing bone knives, and a bone knife, and a bone and, and a stone axe, um, you can check that one out. It's pretty cool. And you saw the 10 millimeter pistol, what that sounds like, same sounds and all that. So the last one we're gonna get here to is the Grenade APW, 25 millimeter grenade launcher with the Commonwealth Weaponry Expansion Pack by Degenerate Dax. His page says, thump, kaboom, here comes a reimagined 25 millimeter grenade APW to satiate your explosive needs. It's going to be a very explosive time because we're also expecting very soon here, possibly this week, to get Thumper from Diacute, which would then give you degenerate Daxes for the 25 millimeter grenades, and then Thumper by Diacute for 40 millimeter grenades, therefore having two different kinds of grenade launchers. This one's more got a drum, and the one by Diacute has is a single shot with break action. So two different styles both would be awesome and cool in the game and both require munitions obviously because for the explosives yes yeah, it's a brand new rotary grenade launcher based on the new vegas 25 millimeter grenade apw over 60 brand new attachments including ammo types custom models and textures custom animations use of munitions required for the 25 millimeter grenade rounds bullet count reload support level list integration around the wasteland on bosses and into shops after level 25 two locations listed below for the uniques one in quincy police station lockup and the other found in the sentinel site bathroom so yeah thing is pretty cool so let's go take a look at it so this is going to be just the regular one then i'll show you the uniques real quick so for receivers you have a standard receiver a hair trigger receiver calibrated receiver light frame receiver heavy frame receiver and tuned receiver so same look does different things barrels you have short barrel medium barrel long barrel short light barrel medium light barrel long light barrel so just cut some slats in it looks good grip you have a short stock a full stock a gunslinger stock recoil compensating stock a marksman stock a short light stock light stock and a folding stock so very tactical look to that and then a light recoil compensating stock for magazines you have instead of picking like a drum because they're all drum you basically have different rounds so you have explosive grenades which is your standard you can have beanbag rounds that knock over enemies but don't do a ton of damage you have slug rounds no explosive no explosives but hurts 
Uh, you got smoke grenades. Decreased damage inhibits visibility. That's kind of cool. Increases damage or visibility or decreases damage. Um, time grenades. They explode after five seconds. Gas grenades. Decrease damage and poisons targets and inhibits visibility. That's pretty cool. Uh, high explosive grenades. Larger, more damaging. Explode 140 damage. Wow. Incinerary grenades, which but this one does fire damage. Pulse grenades as an electrical explosion improves damage and adds more damage. And then plasma grenades with basic like plasma explosion. So that is pretty cool. Obviously you need a science and exp demolition expert for those. So but yeah, that's a lot of good options there. I like that. Okay, here you have folded iron sight, your regular iron sight, a glow a glow iron sight, a reflex sight, a hollow sight. A ladder hollow sight you can see it's yeah and a short scope for muzzles you have no muzzle a barrel extender a spiked muzzle a compensator a muzzle brake and a stabilizer looks nice after a so for four grips over here you have standard foregrip heavy foregrip a comfort foregrip and light foregrip so looks pretty cool and then for accessories you have no accessories you can put a bayonet on it a flashlight a carry handle on the side just makes it uh, easier to carry so lighter in weight and quicker aim down sight and equip you have a heat shield up here improves a aim down sight accuracy and recoil you got and then you got your charms they put another one of these with strength perception endurance charisma intelligence agility and luck so it's pretty cool some cool stuff there then you have the major tom has a 25 percent faster fire rate 50 percent faster reloads got the nice military come on get back nice military green colors the very tactical look with the caution strip on there and then riot control which is i'm gonna guess this is the one that probably is at the police station critical hit causes target to frenzy because this just sounds like something will be at a police station major tom sounds more like wherever the other one was so yeah i'm thinking this one might be the police station i could be wrong though but yeah so it's got the not riot control it's all yellow and black it looks cool though go ahead and show you what these look like firing so first we'll go with the regular one this is the one that's incinerary round so it has the the hollow one looks nice i like the the slow aim down sight that's pretty cool how it's kind of slower so let me see so if I aim up the target and there's that where it's actually going to hit. Nope, it's not. Okay. Okay, so these ones don't... It doesn't explode. It's basically, this one's like... Basically, this one's like... Shooting models have cocktails. It's got a nice kathunk to it. It's different than the one by Diacute, though. So even if you have both of them... Yeah, actually, the funny part is that you actually would not really... Let me see what this one sounds like. Okay. Oh, this one shoots little rockets. Okay. Let me see there. Oh, okay, so this one's like a mini mini rocket launcher. That is cool. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah, that's a slower reload, but that's pretty cool. With the little rockets. Okay, so I can see here where it'd be eligible for that because it did too many reloads. Okay, so let's say you got 12 here. You want to hit a bunch of targets? Go. God, that's crazy. Okay. Yeah, see, it's only got three rounds to put in, so definitely would suggest this with the... Ah, uh, what is it, BCR? I think it is. Bullet count, yeah, bullet count reload. Yeah, because it'll keep reloading. Even if you only used, like, three, it'll still... Do that. So that's cool with the rockets. I like that. 
and let's see, riot control. So that one is the. Okay, so that one doesn't really actually explode. That one just causes them to go into a frenzy. So let me go back and we'll go switch it over to something else. I want to see so what the explosives were like. Okay, so let's go in here. Good. So let's go with the explosives. Maybe we'll try out the smoke and time too. See what those are like. All right, ready? Nice. All right, so let's try smoke. See what those look like. Oh, nice. Okay. So it basically puts up a little temporary smoke cloud. It's pretty cool. Alright. Let's see what else can we do here. And timed. We'll do timed. That's the only one we haven't done yet. Okay. So basically like a regular grenade where it's kind of timed. This thing could get um, extremely overpowered if you're not careful. So, yeah. But no, I'm liking this. So the Stone Age weapons. Oh, that's right. I forgot. There was one in here I saw. Um, no, rifles. I don't know how good they're rot jar. So... some kind of grenade but yeah so um if you like this that's pretty cool we got some stone age weapons may have been meant as a april fool's joke i'm thinking it was but still actually isn't too bad the quality is nice um the n99c for the either replacement of the 10 millimeter pistol or an add-on alongside it is pretty cool so that's a nice looking 10 millimeter and then the grenade launcher by degenerate dax is nice i will say i'm excited i it i like that one and i'm excited for the one by diq because i feel that while they're similar they're different because like this one you saw is a fast firing drum with all kinds of different options on the kind whereas diq is just as far as i saw just explosive Okay, I guess the big difference between them is his, his is 40 millimeter. This one's 25, so it's two different ammo types. His is a single shot with break action. This one is the drum. So they both do something pretty much the same, just different. This one gives you a little more speed and firing off, but you also blow through your ammo quicker. So I would personally put both in my load orders and then it can also spread out the stuff. I think they're both cool. Also the sounds I noticed are very different. Like this one has more of a hollow tube type thunk, whereas a thumper is more like that thump. It's it's different sounds. So even if you use both, it's not like they would sound the exact same. So it's pretty cool. And just as a teaser, Monday, watch out on the Nexus. You and What Army 2 by Glitchfinder is supposed to be coming out Monday. I know it's not a gun. Go check it out. I'll remind you guys again next week on Wednesday to check it out. And I will be previewing it next week. So, until next time, you guys take care. Be safe. This is Pelorian. Checking out.